the key thing of uh, you know establishing pact was to ensure that he, uh, we join hands with the different stakeholders, both local and internationally, uh, to make sure that we transform the lives of the communities that we serve. We try to give a decent life for the children, try to improve the education, reduce the literacy levels, improve access to clean and safe water. People in Uganda get their drinking water from unsafe sources, such as lakes, unprotected springs, ponds, and this has contributed to a number of waterborne diseases, such as typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, etc. And uh, this has contributed to 70% of the diseases that communities face in Uganda. Besides of the waterborne diseases, women and girls trek long distances in search for water, and this has also put their lives at risk, especially when it comes to sexual abuse, and uh, also being productive in, uh, in their households. In that regard, PACT works closely with uh, districts uh, that are in central uh, to make sure that communities have access to clean and safe water. We do a number of water technologies in rural communities, uh, such as boreholes that we drill between 60 to 80 meters and install with a head pump uh, so that communities get clean sources for water. And most of these boreholes put them in schools uh, for easy management, easy monitoring, for easy access for the community members. For the hand dug wells, it is mostly between 15 to 20 meters deep. And this varies based on the water tables. And here we use the hand to dig, and then submersive pump to pump the water so that we get the quantity we need, which later we line with the culverts, clay, bricks, before we install with a U3 head pump. We also do spring wells, which spring wells also differ. They are those we do because of the challenge of the gravity flow that uh, we install with a head pump to make sure that at least that community is still having access. And there are those that we install with the tap, and uh, those are the cheapest because it becomes easy for the community to operate and maintain. We also have a technology of uh, gravity flow this is where we find water ice uphill and because of the climbing and the hassle the community goes through, we collect that water and we bring it closer to the community, which we have where we have a reservoir and then the water flows in a tank of about 6,000 liters and then we construct a collection point uh, and install it with the taps so that communities have access to clean water. Uh, we also go further to schools. We have constructed or we have installed water filters in schools so that children have access to clean and safe water. Uh, you know, most of the school children spend their time collecting water, and uh, in that regard, they miss a lot of time to attend their classes. So we construct uh, water collection tanks in schools. We work with the community. We set direct path for operation and maintenance, which later leads to sustainability of these water points. Um, we form water management committees for, for, for all the water points we do and then uh, we train them uh, on operation and maintenance of, or maintenance of these water points. Besides that, we also engage the local leaders uh, that we start with uh, during our inception period of the project. We work with them during the implementation and then when we are exiting the community, we do a handover session or meeting with them so that we hand over these facilities to them telling them they should be sustainable they should be operated well for future use so that many people benefit from the sources we've constructed uh, we thank pact organization which has constructed our well it is built it has got taps and the water is safe for our children for drinking Amanya gangi wa mchana mara Victor nene miaka 13 nsome tv ndi mchibina cha mkaga boye badde beera wala nga mazi tuino gachi makumacha no regulo nga wakati wasobola ba mazi ngera ntuka kule ntuka kusomero nga ndireti kisanga banafe ba somye dda ila sasa wala kusoma bulunji kati okubaye ba tukolere ebintu ebyo kati badde twe tuteruchya ta wanyinzi wanyo Never saw a pact to what called it but called it day into being Jatuva We had the dirty water, 
which brought us many diseases like diarrhea, dysentery, and typhoid. I'm so happy. Now I can perform very well in class because of clean water. Thank you, Pact. Uh, without proper sanitation and hygiene, the safe water we provide to the community will be contaminated. So we try our level best to improve sanitation and hygiene in the community. We use CLTS approach where communities identify their own gaps and find ways of improving their sanitation and hygiene. We also do house-to-house -house sensitization where we use community hygiene promoters to track the sanitation and hygiene communities. They do this by registering all the households and find out the gaps in sanitation and hygiene. And through the monthly monitoring that the CHB, CHPs do, they help the communities to construct new latrines, dish racks, and hand washing facilities in their households. With the help of community hygiene promoters, we do set up model households in each community we work in. These model households act as a reference of sanitation and hygiene promotion. In each sub-council we are work in, we do set out a wash learning corner that act as a reference to all communities and all households that visit the, the sub-county. When Pact came to Chikandwa in 2020, where they found us uh, in a very uh, wanting situation. In the area of sanitation and hygiene, we were really badly off. And uh, they have done a great deal to help us promote the sanitation and hygiene in our community. So far, they've constructed over 30 water sources, protected water sources. They have gone ahead to construct for us uh, the smart home demo, the wash corner here. This wash corner is helping us to bring communities to the knowledge of how a smart home state should be. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be Gavana Bajakuzi, Bazo put the Buchari, Bacoma Wachiro, Avana Bado put the Buzivieno, Novera Wakanga, where I Likida, Neka Tuliba Tuliba Sanyu Funyo, Ntibulimana Bajakuzi, O Jano Funa Mazigo, no Tambra, no gain, and Mubu Dera, which Mongo Chorian would My safety was at least because I used to walk long distances to get work. But now I feel safe and happy because clean water is near my school. Recently, we did our impact assessment uh, for the WASH projects, and we were able to see that uh, the school attendance has, re has increased, greatly increased to about uh, 60% compared to before we went to these areas, uh, these districts where we are serving. So, with about uh, 40 wells constructed annually by PACT in different communities, we are confident that we, our contribution is really uh, creating a very big impact in the areas where we are serving. So, with all this, we sure that we are destined to the right direction and we thank our partners that are working with us on the water uh, on the water interventions. Of course this includes many like Blood Water Mission, the Water Slave and the Matiana Charity and many others that are working with us to make sure that our communities have the access to clean and safe water. I would like to thank our partners, donors for the support extended to communities through PACT. And in that regard we call upon more donors, funders, so that we can change our communities in Uganda. Thank you so much. Apoyo Matek, Asanti Sana, Mweva Mononga. God bless you all.